In so many ways, we stand together today in the symbolic shadow of history. But we are making history together right now. We are going to be the generation that dismantles systemic racism once and for all, now and forever. We stand and march for love, and we will fulfill my grandfather's dream. The son and granddaughter of Martin Luther King Jr. addressing a crowd of thousands on the 57th anniversary of the March on Washington and Dr. King's historic I Have a Dream speech. Well, people coming from virtually every state, many with masks and temperature checks. And here at home, around 100 people gathered at the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. statue demanding change as well. And 13 Action News reporter Astrid Mendez now joins us live with their message. Astrid. Top police, accountability, prison reform, and justice for the community are just some of the things that are saying that they require change. The National Action Network says that the time for action and change is now. Small in numbers, but large in spirit, is how these demonstrators were part of a rally inspired by rallies in other parts of the country today. Here in Las Vegas, organizers of tonight's event says it's go time to make a change. This city has killed hundreds of black and brown unarmed people and nobody's addressing that problem. So the message for today is to let people know that the fight of racism and justice, it lives in Las Vegas. This city was once called the Mississippi of the West. You know, this city still has that, that stigma over it, whether we like it or not. A message that resonates with many others after the recent deaths of several African-American men and women. Breonna Taylor is my family. Jacob Blake's my family. Emmett Till is my family. Tamir Rice is my family. We're all united all over the country and we all believe in one cause. A cause that needs everyone involved to make that change happen. Not until this year did I realize just how horrible it was. You know, I'm Mexican, my mother is an immigrant, and seeing that, it just, I think it's important for all of us to unite as minorities to really speak up for this injustice. They got to go! Together they march here. <laughs> And after some moments of tensions with Metro Police, they promise to continue fighting against police brutality. And the National Action Network, also known as NAN, plans to continue with events like this one in the near future, not only to address the police injustice that some of them believe that they're going through, but also to enlighten people about some of the injustices that the African community, African American community, continues to live. Reporting live, Astrid Mendez, 13 Action News.